the real ADT plugin comes in several versions. Mono, stereo, mono in, stereo out, and then there's a version called ADT 2V in stereo and mono in, stereo out versions. This last one doubles up on the ADT effect. It's like having two extra tape machines dedicated to ADT instead of just one. A little beyond the original setup, but very useful. Doubling a track in mono is a more subtle effect. The tonal variations that occur from the short delays are more pronounced when the original and delayed versions are both panned to the same location. Panning the original and delay away from each other accentuates the illusion of two players performing a natural doubling. You'll hear both again as I go through the plugin. Since the effect was originally developed primarily for vocals, I'll start with a mono in stereo out version on a vocal track. At the top of the plugin, you'll see a graphic of tape heads. SRC represents the source, the original undelayed signal. ADT represents the delayed signal from the second machine. The time ruler just below indicates the initial delay time in milliseconds. Negative numbers indicate that the delayed signal is actually ahead of the original, a negative delay. Remember, this was possible using the Abbey Road method. Positive numbers indicate the delayed version is behind the original, or the source. You set this by dragging the head around, or, like with all the Abbey Road plugins, you can double-click the graphic and type in the value you want. Below this, on the far left and right, you have level meters for the source signal and the delay signal. Under SRC and ADT, you have the controls for blending the signals. To the left, under source, you've got pan, drive, and a level fader. To the right, you have the same options for the ADT signal. Each signal path also has a mute button and a phase button, which, as you know, actually flips the polarity of the signal, just like on a console or mic pre. Since this ADT effect is based on the J37 tape machine, you're also getting some of the coloration from that as well, and the drive control lets you set how much tape saturation you want for the source and ADT signals independently. I watch you walking down the street. Drive is not a level control, by the way. It just adds edge, saturation I to the sound. Driving in her car. If you want to adjust level, use the fader below. In the center are the vary speed controls. Here's where you find the key to the unique quality of the ADT. As you can see, this is modeled after the handheld remote I described last time, the control that lets the engineer manually vary the speed of the ADT machine. But since this is, after all, a modern plugin, Waves gives you the option of doing it the old school way, actually moving this control by hand and recording the results to generate the effect. I watch you walking down the street. I see her driving in her car. Or using their simulation of the randomness of human operation to do the work for you which, of course, is much more practical for a modern mix with dozens of tracks, where you might be using this effect multiple times. The main vary speed knob sets the range of speed variation. If you center it, whatever speed variations you dial up with the other controls will both increase and decrease the basic delay setting above to whatever degree you choose with the LFO range control. I watch you walking down the street If you position it to the right, the speed variations will all increase the initial delay time within the same range. Who she's going to, be. to the left, the speed variations will all decrease the initial setting. I want to love her from afar. And remember, there are no right and wrong settings for any of this. It's all by ear. If you do choose to operate the very speed control manually, the latch and touch buttons determine what will happen when you release the knob. Just like with automation, in latch mode, the default, the knob will stay where it was when you let go. In touch mode, it'll jump back to zero, the center position. The range control here 
sets the maximum amount of speed variation of the big knob. Reducing the range just makes it easier to perform subtle variations by hand. I watch her walking down the street. I'll continue in the next chapter.